Hey folks, welcome to our video on publishing. We're going to talk, take a look at uh, publishing with Expression Web 3 or 4. So let's just jump right into our editor here and just show you a couple of things you could do. I'm going, to sh I'm going to show you the basic way of publishing, then a couple of tricks that I like to use myself whenever I'm using the publishing or FTP feature in Expression Web. I'm not going to cover publishing with um, the front page server extensions simply because the extensions are so out of date. Um, I think it was about 2007 or so. Microsoft stopped supporting them for Linux servers and sometime recently for Windows servers as well. So I'm just going to cover publishing with FTP, which is pretty much a standard method and it guarantees a better result anyways. Um, to publish a site, first of all, create a new publishing destination. So click on your site, publishing. If you haven't published a site before, which you probably haven't, you'll click the add a publishing destination. So you're basically going to set up a place to publish first, then you're going to publish the site. So we'll click that one, fill in the details, the name. This is just a reference name that you can use when you go to this publishing uh, place in your editor. So we're just going to type in for Zoom. Set the connection type to FTP. Set the location, the FTP location, to the actual web address. So instead of www. or http. Doc, it's just going to be FTP. Dot dot slash skip the triple dub just type in or whatever information your web host has given you now the directory this is the folder on your web host account that you publish your files to uh, most web hosts will just provide an email when you sign up and they'll tell you where you're publishing your files in this particular example it's http docs okay and you can put a slash or without your server may specify or require the slash or it may not. It really depends on uh, what information, once again, your host has given you. The username and the password, enter that information, and then hit add. Okay, once you do that, it's going to kick in and automatically log you in, which is kind of a nice thing. So once you've set up it initially, it's going to pop you over and uh, it's going to get you all set up. Now, I'm already in a folder where I have a whole bunch of files because I use this as a testing server. Uh, you, you should be in a blank folder over here. There shouldn't be anything. Maybe an index page. Uh, maybe a couple of server related pages, but um, in this example I have a whole bunch of files. To publish the site, all I do basically is I just put my cursor over here, do the, I do a control A to select everything, and then you see this little arrow, publish file to destination site. That's all you do is just boop, click it over there, or press that button there. You can also, now let's say you've already published your site and you just want to publish one page, you can select the page, right click, and uh, Publish selected files too. That's one way of doing it. You can also, over here in this list, right click on any page and publish selected files too, even if you're not in the publishing window. It'll kick in, it'll ask you for your username and password and all that sort of a thing, but that's just a quick way of publishing as well. Now, just a note if you are updating anything in the library folder, I suggest you republish your entire site. Sort of step number one, uh, simply because most of the library pages are embedded into all of the pages in your site. So updating uh, any of the library, especially the shared pages, you'll have to republish all the pages that use that particular component. It's just the way the Microsoft programs work. They only serve to update your local pages. They will not update the pages on the server. Now here's a little trick I like to use. Uh, let's say I've, I made some changes. I only want to publish certain pages with certain files and things like that. I actually take a shortcut. I go to the reports click on all files and I organize by date. Right, as you can see here the date pretty much everything's been updated today of course uh, but then you can select by date so if, if you've only updated certain pages certain images certain files you can just use your your shift key select the ones that were updated so for example if this one here was say uh, the 6 14 2003 and everything above, above was the 17th I could just grab those pages and then publish selected files and would publish just those pages there. So I don't have to go digging through every folder in my site and, and I don't have to figure out which files to update. This will actually tell me which files have been modified recently and then I can select them by date and publish just the modified files. That's a nice quick easy way to put stuff up to the server without having to go through the publishing window and figuring out which pages and which folders to publish if you've say you've got a page you've added images and scripts and things like that and you don't want to have to publish the entire site this is a, a good method of getting things up there without having to do that